Here's an application that I want to deploy to production. It's a simple Node.js application written using the Express framework. It's the first few lines of a more complex project and I've already committed the source code to GitHub. Currently it provides a simple index page for web browsers and a single REST endpoint for me to test with. I want to deploy this application quickly and safely to production to prove that everything is working before I start writing lots more code. This only takes a few minutes. I'll run a timer in the background so that you can see just how long the process takes. While that's deploying, let's dig a bit deeper and talk more about production. Now these days, production is Kubernetes. Kubernetes is fast becoming the default runtime for enterprise workloads everywhere. Whether that's on public cloud, or sovereign cloud, or even on private cloud, it doesn't really matter. In most cases, production dial tone is now Kubernetes. But how does this code get to production? Well, for a safe, reliable deployment, you need a fully automated, secure supply chain. That's a process that delivers your code to production securely, and that's what I'm using here. In this supply chain, we have GitHub storing the source code, Flux is watching GitHub for code changes and acting as a trigger for the rest of the process, Tekton is compiling and testing the code to make sure it hangs together, Gripe is scanning the code looking for vulnerabilities that may expose it to bad actors, Buildpacks are creating container images and Sneak is checking those container images for any low-level vulnerabilities that may exist. Docker Hub is storing images for safekeeping and future reuse and auditing. And Carvel is configuring Kubernetes for me, configuring the deployment so I don't have to write any YAML. And finally, Knative will run the application, scaling it based on load and conserving resources when there is no traffic. But it's important to call out all of this was a fire and forget experience as a developer I don't need to do anything other than push my code to GitHub. Now you may be wondering, how flexible is this supply chain? Well, because this supply chain is using Cartographer under the hood, you can swap out components and customize the supply chain anytime you want to. So for example, I could replace Tekton with Jenkins, or I could swap build packs for Kaneko, or maybe I'd like to replace Docker Hub with a private registry like Harbor. And thanks to CNCF build packs, this supply chain also enjoys very broad programming language support. So I can build and run applications written in Java or Spring or .NET or Node.js, Python, Go and more. The process used to create a supply chain looks something like this. You select your favorite components from the various CNCF projects and then you integrate them into a supply chain on Kubernetes. Now it sounds simple, but of course it isn't. Integrating these components needs considerable time and effort, especially if you're starting from scratch. And in the recent State of Kubernetes report, one key finding was that building platforms on Kubernetes had become way too impractical. The problem with this approach is the sheer speed at which the Kubernetes landscape changes and the challenges of trying to hire and train or retain the people with the necessary skills and expertise. There are also significant security concerns. So you're probably wondering, is there an easier way? Fortunately, for me at least, the answer is yes. You take Kubernetes and you add VMware Tanzu application platform to your clusters. And then you customize the out of the box experience to fit your needs at your own pace. As you mature, you can add or customize supply chain components or application accelerators or build packs or reporting and observability. Or maybe for developers, you'd add GitOps or further API definitions 
or things like diagrams and documentation, or even hands-on labs and learning centres. So, now we've discussed what production looks like and how the code gets there, let's cross back over to our terminal and see how our app is getting along on its journey to production. The app has almost finished deploying, and there we are, the workload Node Express is ready. 3 minutes and 21 seconds. That's pretty quick considering all the work that the supply chain has done for me. Let's check the application is running by finding the endpoint and opening it in a browser. And there it is. The app is displaying the index page where I've put a diagram of my secure software supply chain. And that's it. My app has safely deployed to production. Because this is Tanzu application platform, I can also inspect the supply chain results in the portal. I can see the GitHub commit hash. I can see the unit test results. I can see the build logs and explore the Kubernetes configuration for my app. I can even check the results of the security scans on my code and my containers. If you thought that these supply chains were helpful, just wait till you see application accelerators or live debug. I'll put a card up for those at the end of this video. If you want to learn more about the Tanzu application platform, check out our playlist and the links in the description. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you'll be notified whenever we drop new content.